Hi everyone, welcome back to Small Caliber Arms Review. I'm Richard and today we're going to be taking a look at a cowboy gun. This is the Chiapa 1873 Single Action Army. Little six shooter. It comes with both a uh, 22 long rifle and 22 magnum cylinders so you can change it out shoot either one you want. Let's give it a try. With cowboy guns you just have a loading gate that opens up on the side. You pull the hammer back half cocked that allows the cylinder to rotate freely. You load your rounds one at a time. Now unloading the cowboy gun, same thing. You take, pull the hammer half cocked, open your loading gate. There's an ejector rod on here. When you pull that back, it pushes the spent round out. You gotta unload them one at a time. Sometimes they'll fall right out. Sometimes you gotta give them a little bit of help. All clear, ready to go. Now on a single action firearm, the trigger only performs one function. On here, it only releases the hammer. So to cock it, you pull the hammer back, you pull the trigger, it releases it to fire it. So every time you want to shoot around, pull the hammer back, pull the trigger, pull the hammer back, pull the trigger. If you want to do any kind of speed shooting, usually what they would do is from this position, go ahead and pull the trigger and then fan or flick the uh, hammer and that would uh, that's as close as you could get to rapid firing. We'll give that a try with some 22 magnums in it. It's effective. You can do some rapid firing with it. Uh, the old cowboys, they would fan it sometimes, just hit it with their hand, usually with a gloved hand because after a while, the serrations on the top of there are going to uh, tear the palm of your hand up, but you could pull, hold the trigger in and then pull it back and just keep fanning it and good to go. We'll put six more rounds of uh, 22 mag in here and try the speed shooting again. It's not a semi-automatic, but it, uh, you can fire pretty quick. You could go a lot quicker than I am going with that, but um, it takes a little practice, a little getting used to, just like with any firearm. Once it's new and uh, you've uh, not used it a lot, you'll get the hang of it after a while. Maybe you'll be doing some uh, Old West uh, gun twirling and putting your holster and all that good stuff, but uh, pretty fun little firearm. Uh, like I said, pretty inexpensive too, uh, brand new, out of the box. Both cylinders about 150 bucks on sale. Sometimes they're a little bit more, depends on where you get it. Um, they do make a couple different uh, grips for them. Uh, they make them with different finishes on them. This is just the plain black, but uh, you can get it with like an antique look to it. Um, really cool guns, cowboy guns, but um, pretty fun. Uh, no adjustable sights on it. Uh, it's just got a groove cut in the back here. That's that's your rear sight. Your front one is just a blade that's molded right on the barrel, and um, like I said. Simplicity, this is it. Okay, a few things you need to know about the Chiapa 1873-22. Just like its predecessors of the Old West, uh, it is a six shot, but they always carried five rounds in the uh, cylinder. And the reason for that was the firing pin in the Old West guns was mounted on the hammer itself. So when that firing pin came down, it contacted the primer, set the round off, fired a bullet. This, uh, could be hit on the back side with a little bit of force and that firing pin would hit the round. If you dropped your gun and it landed on the hammer, uh, it could shoot you or your horse or anybody else. Uh, there's no telling where the round was going to go. Um, so it's just like the Old West guns. Uh, unless you have complete control over this gun, um, you probably should not load more than five rounds in it and keep the hammer on the dead cylinder. 
Also in the Old West, they used to roll up $2 and shove it in there, and that way if they died in a gunfight, they had enough money to bury them. But um, this, like I said, this is interchangeable cylinders. All you do is you push this down, pull this uh, pin out, your cylinder pin, open your loading gate, and your cylinder comes right out. And then you've got the 22 long rifle one. It is marked on there. Might be a little hard to see. Uh, but it's marked on the cylinder there that it is a uh, 22 long rifle. And the other one is marked clearly on it that it is um, somewhere on there. 22 Magnum. Um, so depending on what rounds you're shooting, they are not interchangeable. Um, the diameter may be the same, but the cases are different. There's a larger case on the 22 Magnum. Shorter one on the... Uh, uh, shorter and a little smaller diameter on the 22 long rifle. Alright, if you decide you want to change the cylinders on it and uh, put the 22 long rifle in it, once you take your cylinder out, there's a bushing in here. You gotta take that bushing out, slide it in the other one, then you can put it back in. Make sure your bushing is seated all the way down in there. Put your pin back in, it'll lock into place, check it, make sure that's uh, locked up and timing right, load it up with your 22 long rifles and you're good to go. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire a few 22 LRs through here and see how they do. One of the things you do not want to do with this uh, firearm is you do not want to dry fire it. Um, it does come with a little tag when you open up on the box and it'll say, do not dry fire this firearm. What happens is a lot of times the, uh, the firing pin, it goes to strike the primer. If there's no brass there to soften the blow on it, it hits the, uh, the end of the cylinder there and it ends up mushrooming the end of the uh, firing pin and then eventually it will not uh, uh, compress the primer enough to set it off and you'll have to have a new firing pin put in it. Another nice thing about this gun is not only can it fire the 22 Magnums and the 22 long rifles, but you can also fire 22 shorts in it. Let's throw six of those in there and give it a try. My two shorts are pretty fun. I'm going to load three 22 shorts, three 22 long rifles, and alternate them and see if we can tell the difference in the sound and the uh, kick on the gun. It's 22, doesn't kick much, but let's just see what we can find out. All right, loaded three 22 shorts and three 22 long rifles. Let's see what it does. Not a whole lot of difference in them. Uh, you can tell a little bit, but not, not a tremendous amount. All right, the uh, Chiapa 1873-22. Uh, like I said, a really simple gun, not real complicated. Uh, clean up on these is a breeze, just like if you're gonna change the cylinder. Open your loading gate. Go ahead and push your pin down. Pull your center pin out. Take the cylinder out. Uh, it comes with a little cleaning brush. Uh, clean the face of it up. Clean all your powder residue off. Um, one thing I did notice is it's a little difficult to get that center bushing out sometimes. Um, you can take the pin and push it in from the back side there and get out. Um, keep a little oil on there. You can see there's a little oil on this one, but it still wants to get stuck in there. You get that uh, powder residue that comes out from uh, the forcing cone on there, and it tends to um, get in there a little bit, gets a little gunk in there, makes it a little difficult to get out. Not Nothing terrible, but um, if you look closely in here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, you can see where the powder has been uh, blasting outwards from that forcing cone, and uh, it's dirty in there. 
Um, clean it up real good. Uh, it's an easy gun to, to take care of. There's not a lot of moving parts in it. It's not real complicated. Um, you can get into the barrel there with your uh, patches, uh, brushes, mops, boar snake, whatever you want. Um, clean it all up, uh, put it away, and uh, take care of it. It's a fun little one to get out there and uh, plank away. Uh, set you up some steel targets, some tin cans, uh, clay pigeons, put them on the little stands out there and just uh, relive the old days of the Wild West and have at it. All right, the Chiapa 1873 is a pretty fun little firearm. Uh, it's inexpensive as can be. Uh, they don't get much cheaper than that. Uh, with the capability of shooting either the 22 Magnum, 22 Long Rifle, or the 22 Shorts, there is one more round it will fire in between the Short and the Long Rifle is the 22 Long. Uh, I don't have any of those. Uh, they used to be fairly common, but uh, it's rare when you go into a store anywhere and see them anymore. But um, they are out there, at least at the time of this recording. Um, but you just, the two cylinders, the firearm, and, and three different ammos, you can uh, run through it and uh, it's a pretty fun little uh, gun to play around with. Hey, thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna enjoy a little more time out here on the range. You guys enjoy yours.